Time Walk With Me. Hey everybody, welcome back to Time Walk With Me. I am the Time Walker, no relation to Walker, Texas Ranger. I should work on my roundhouse kick though. I built this deck out of cards I found on Scryfall, so while I have many of them, I don't have them all. I still built it with budget at least somewhat in mind. The commanders are Alibaba and Sinbad. These two creatures are not legends, but they really should be, so I'm treating them that way. They also don't have partner, but I'm giving it to them by the same authority that I made them legends. Alibaba is a 1-1 Alibaba. Actually, he's a human rogue according to the Oracle. He costs just one measly red mana to cast, and he has the amazing ability to tap a wall simply by paying one red mana and saying open sesame. I originally wanted to make him the sole commander of this deck, but there was just no way to do anything with its ability in mono red. So I started thinking about what other creatures should be legends but aren't, and Sinbad immediately popped into my mind. There is no magic card called Sinbad. After a few frustrating minutes of searching, I realized that the card is called Sindbad. Sindbad is a 1-1 human. He costs one generic and one blue mana to cast. You can tap him to draw a card, reveal it to everybody in the universe, and discard it unless it's a land. While that ability might come in handy, Sindbad is here to make building this deck not only possible, but extremely easy. This deck is full of walls. Why? So I can tap my own walls and stop them from blocking? Not quite. I have a different plan in mind, which I will tell you about after I say the names of a bunch of cards. But one thing I'll tell you now is that having a bunch of walls helps to prevent attacks and combat damage. Aether Membrane, Aether Flame Wall, Amaranthine Wall, Battle Rampart, Consulate Skygate, Coral Barrier, Excavated Wall, Fog Bank, Glacial Wall, Hover Barrier, Living Wall, Mnemonic Wall, Primal Clay, which can be a wall, Steel Wall, Wall of Dust, Wall of Mist, Wall of Runes, Wall of Shields, Wall of Stone, the best wall, Wall of Tears, and Wall of Water. The particular walls that I chose didn't really matter too much. It helps if they had an ability I could use, but they shouldn't be too good because I'm going to end up uh, giving these walls to my opponent. The purpose of the walls is to trade them for good creatures controlled by my opponents. Then Alibaba can tap them down so they can't be used to block. Cultural Exchange, Daring Thief, Jin of Infinite Deceits, Ligur Domain, Modify Memory, Political Trickery, Role Reversal, Shifting Borders. This one exchanges control of lands rather than creatures, but that could still come in very handy. Shifting Grift and Switcheroo. I put in some cool old cards to go with the cool oldness of the deck's commanders. And Zarin Ruins. With this, you won't have to keep paying to tap down your opponent's walls. Artificial Evolution. You might need for Alibaba to open sesame a different creature type. Blaster Mage. This guy is Alibaba on steroids. He doesn't want to just tap walls, he wants them gone. Dwarven Demolition Team. And this guy is Blaster Mage on super steroids. He doesn't even need extra mana to destroy a wall. Glyph of Delusion. This is good for when you blocked a creature with a wall. It keeps the attacking creature tapped down for a while. The bigger the creature, the longer it stays tapped. Glyph of Destruction. This makes one of your walls super beefy so it can kill whatever creature it blocked, but then it kills the wall. Goblin Digging Team. This goblin has to give its life to destroy a wall, but that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Goblin Masons. This goblin will have to find a way to die to take out a wall. Blocking something should do it. Juggernaut. Once your opponents only control your walls, Juggernaut can get through and do some damage. Marble Priest. I just thought this looked cool. Its oracle text reads, all walls able to block Marble Priest do so. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to Marble Priest by walls. If you have other creatures that are attacking, all your opponent's walls will be busy blocking this guy. Siege Dragon. Maybe you don't want your opponents to have your walls after all. Siege Dragon kills them all, and once they don't have any more walls, it hurts every earthbound creature the defending player controls. 
Tower of Koirial. I'm sure that's mispronounced, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Here's another cool old school card that helps you get attackers past people's walls. And Word of Blasting. This kills a wall and hurts the face of the player who controlled it. Alloy Mirror, Iron Mirror, Palladium Mirror, Silver Mirror, Apprentice Wizard, Arcane Signet, Blue Mana Battery, Red Mana Battery. The mana batteries are here for old school flavor and also because I just like them. Fire Diamond, Sky Diamond, and Soul Ring. Islands and Mountains, of course. Cascade Bluffs, Castle Embereth, Castle Vantress, Command Tower, Crystal Grotto, Ferris Lake, Frostboil Snarl, Lotus Field, Magosi the Water Veil, Path of Ancestry, and Thespian Stage. So there we have it. That is my Alibaba and Sindbad deck. I'm probably just going to call him Sindbad because that's what I know him as. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Give them to me in the comments section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.